So now I've done the majority of my occlusal reduction. What I'm get, I will, when I do the occlusal reduction, I'll make sure that I go as close into proximally that I can, but not quite going into proximally there. So after I've done this, I'll do my interproximal areas. In order to protect the adjacent tooth, what I'll sometimes do is after the pre-wedging, I will use a serrated strip and a metal polishing strip just to open up that contact point a bit. Once that's opened up, it's gonna allow me to get these things in, which is like a little wedge, which is attached to a sheet of metal to protect the interproximal areas. Okay, the risk if you're not gonna be doing this type of um, protection of the interproximal areas is the iatrogenically damage the neighboring tooth and you drill it basically. Okay, that's our suction. So once that's through, I'll then tickle my burr just over the, over the area to do the interproximal reduction. Okay, so I think it's important to clear the contact point because often if you don't, when you start, or when you are preparing through that contact, you see that demineralized area of tooth that's so common. So if you make your adhesive restoration above that, and then suddenly it starts to get decay underneath it because you haven't cleared that contact, that's a problem because you've got to replace it all. 